वेलकम टू अवदेश अकादमी आर टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज सोशल मीडिया इज इनहेरेंटली अ सेल्फिश मीडियम ना दिस टॉपिक अपियर इन 2017 बट द मेन थिंग टू नोटिस हियर इज द वर्ड सेल्फिश नाउ यू डोंट जस्ट राइट एनीथिंग अराउंड द पॉजिटिव्स एंड नेगेटिव्स ऑफ सोशल मीडिया यू हैव टू फ्रेम इट अकॉर्डिंगली एंड मीन आइदर द सोशल मीडिया इज सेल्फिश और इट इज नॉट सेल्फिश do not write vague answers which is generic to social media so let's first create the brain map now first of all you need to compare social media with other media that is it can be electronic like tv then printed like newspaper magazines etc so you need to compare social media and other media so as to prove whether social media is selfish and how it is not selfish so you need to do this first and then you need to weigh the pros and cons of social media and particularly pertaining to this topic that is how if you talk about pros then you need to answer how social media is not selfish and when you are talking about cons then you need to address how social media is indeed selfish so you need to address both of these points so now let's start with our first topic that is comparing social media versus other media now let's compare social media and other media so first of all the main difference is the audience that is in different types of social media there are different types of audience like you cannot restrict social media to facebook and twitter only you also have say something like linkedin then you have something like quora which are also medium of social media so you do not just restrict to facebook whatsapp and twitter these are more popular but these are not the only social media so you need to address all the aspects so like here facebook twitter twitter is used for short posts facebook you can write longer posts you can share multimedia on linkedin you generally have a connection between the employers and the employees and the the corporate world so you can talk about that here quora is something which is for knowledge sharing different types of people from different backgrounds answer the questions pertaining to their field so you can talk about different types of social media here so the audience is different the purpose is different for each type of social media now here the importance is content creation like in social media the majority of the content is created by the audience while if you talk about the other media like if you talk about tv the media news channels all these the content is created in house like there will be reporters news presenters and if you are talking about the tv serials and movies the content is created by the director the actors and all so the content creation relies with the in house team and not the audience so this is the primary difference in the two respect the another thing is internet also so internet has enabled people to connect socially and this is what has turned into social media now in social media these traditional type of media people are also present be it celebrities the political parties the political leaders the media houses the news reporters everyone also is on the social media and they also use it to connect to their audience so the main difference here is in the content creation part 
like in social media people can comment share their views while on other type of media the only parameter is the trps and all through which you see whether the customer the audience is satisfied or not another major difference is this traditional media which is more of broadcasting so this enables only one way communication also this is for the generic welfare of the people the news is shared it is more of information and social media is more about opinions so these are some of the major differences between the social media and the other type of media now let's talk about how is social media selfish now if you talk about individual and individual level you can talk about how social media has made people self centric that is people share or post something just to gain more likes more shares and more comments so that is one thing also you can talk about how emojis have replaced emotions now the other day i found someone posting about his mother's death right outside the icu as soon as the doctor declared her dead he had posted it it meant he had already drafted it and it was just more of the feelings the emotions were more displayed on the social media post rather than his own self so this has helped people create a digital image which is very different from their original personality so this is what you can talk about here that is at individual level people have become more self centered they may be sitting right next to someone but involved in some or the other social media platforms so social media has often been termed to overtake the personal interaction so this is one major disadvantage of social media and how people are becoming more selfish other thing with selfish reminds me of selfish that is with social media people tend to take more selfies and they are in a race to post their selfies and this has also caused some deaths like it was reported in the last year we have had 159 deaths due to taking selfies people are taking selfies in floods and in various natural calamities and without knowing that it can be dangerous and it can be fatal so without understanding that they are taking selfies just to post it on the social media in india it was the highest number that is out of the 259 deaths worldwide in india 159 deaths happened last year due to taking selfies in inappropriate places so this is one aspect now the next can be if you talk about businesses and political parties now we have seen how 2016 us presidential elections were allegedly handled by some russian private agencies so this was although alleged it is not confirmed but you cannot ignore the role of social media in changing the political inclinations of the people when in social media people are writing everything about themselves so the analytics team can always gather information and use it for their own selfish purposes so political parties are using it and also if you talk in the indian context we have seen the role of cambridge analytica it was again alleged and there is no proof yet but you cannot ignore the role of social media now everything you do has to be posted on social media so that the people know about it also it has become a part of the pr team and the social media team 
and not just the work you do on the ground. The bigger the team for social media handlers you have, the more will be your popularity and that's how using memes and jokes you can change the political inclination of the people. People are using it to spread fake news, many riots and all have been happening. Terrorism is a major problem. Different terrorist organizations are also using social media to group together and form some conspiracy. So you can talk about all these here. Then businesses are also involved in spreading fake news. They are also using clickbaits, ads. Then there are a lot of cyber security issues. People are handling other customers and changing their minds and opinions. People are using different analytical techniques to use it for their own selfish interest. So this is what we have talked about at individual level and this is how business and political parties are using social media for their own selfish purposes. Social media has also helped the bullies, the trollers and it doesn't help people who lack confidence. They just kill it and it is also causing depression and loneliness among a lot of people. So this is a very selfish use of social media for your own entertainment. Just because you want to have fun and you troll someone, it can also spoil their life. Also, some people are using it for their own publicity. Like you can talk about the Rota girls here. There were two girls from Rotak who had alleged a man for teasing them and they had beaten them and that video went viral on the social media and that ruined the life of that man and later it was found that these girls were just faking it for a publicity stunt. So this is also a very negative aspect of social media. Just because people want to hear something, people want to see something, they do not verify the source and they just share it. All such videos are helping create negative image and people are no more worried about what is true, what is justice. People are just sharing everything which is fun to them. So this is very selfish use of a platform which can be used for a much more noble purposes. You can see several campaigns being misused for publicity stunts. Be it the ice bucket challenge, the blue veil, all these games and such challenges, such campaigns are being misused by the people. They don't know the exact origin of these games and these uh, campaigns. They are just using it, they are just following the trend without knowing the actual intention. Like the ice bucket challenge was for a noble cause. Even the No Shave November was started so that you could save the money you spend on shaving to donate to some people, but people are using it for their own fun purposes and follow the trend. Now, social media is called social because it encourages people to be social through connectivity. You can connect with your friends, your relatives living far across the world using social media. You can get involved in their live birthday celebration or anniversary celebrations and other celebrations through social media. You can view their photos, videos to stay connected. So that is one advantage of social media. The next advantage is it has given voices to people. Like we have already seen how in the traditional media, the audience didn't have any voice. Now people can review something, give their feedbacks, share their opinions. And all of this is a part of social media, which has given voices to many. Now, if you talk about different campaigns, which have been fought 
through social media like the very recent me too movement this began on social media and many women came up to express their own exploitations which had happened with them and spread some awareness to the other people so this is one advantage of social media when people share their reviews and share their opinions it also helps businesses because now they know what the customers are expecting from them now when businesses get reviews and feedback they can also improve their customer relations and also their product so it is also helping the businesses and this is also helping them establish contact with their customers so this is another advantage the businesses are having also using the social media the government and people are also getting connected you can just tweet and complain about anything which has happened to you to the relevant ministry so this is also helping the public private relationship like particularly the railways and the external affairs ministry in india has been known to be the most prompt to address these problems so we have had grievances being solved and now the governments can be held accountable for everything that is happening across the country because social media is helping them get aware of whatever is happening across the country and the world also through social media we can share knowledge about different things which is selfless in the sense the one who is writing is writing for others he is sharing his knowledge so this is become an important tool to share knowledge and exchange information so you can talk about it you can also talk about how social media help in disaster management and send and received the disaster management release like you can talk about the kerala floods the chennai floods how people also got involved and now we are talking about major issues at the country and the national level like we are talking about water management and the climate change problem more so after these disasters and these disasters are not restricted to those particular areas now say a flood happened in kerala so not just the people of kerala are concerned about it but the entire nation and also the world is taking note and is sharing their opinion on the issue and how can we prevent such things also people get to connect with each other at the time of disaster using the social media so this is also very important it has also helped in raising funds for different issues so this is not something a selfish media does it can also be used for a noble cause it just depends on the individuals how they use it and how they take it now let's discuss about some facts and figures which can be useful in the essay it is estimated that there are over 3 billion people that is 40% of the world's population are using social media especially the young people and on an average the usage has gone up to 61 minutes per day also there has been increase in the number of people dying by taking selfies particularly in india than anywhere else in the world that is out of the 259 deaths due to taking selfies in the world 159 cases happened in india also the global ransomware damage cost was estimated to exceed 5 billion dollars in 2017 so this emphasizes on the fact how ransomwares are being spread and are causing damage through social media we can also use some quotations here so let's go through them privacy is dead and social media hold the smoking gun the beauty of social media is that it will point out your company's flaws the key question is how quickly you address these flaws the next is we all make mistakes but social media can frame those mistakes and display them infinitely last is social media is an advertisement for the superficial extroverted self using all of these points you can conclude your essay and also you can suggest few steps to make social media not that selfish 
The first could be having cyber laws and training your police and other authorities to handle cyber security. Next is the government must have regulations in place for fake news and misinformation which are being spread on the social media. Also, there has to be a check on the privacy policies of these social media platforms. At last, you can conclude that social media is how you use it. It can be selfish if you use it for your own self-interest, but it can also be helpful in spreading information and spreading peace. So at the end, it all depends on the individuals, how they use it. So that's it in this lesson. I hope it helps you. You can write your own answer and your own essay on a practice section option. So please keep writing and keep practicing. Happy learning.